Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Lesson 8. Do you guys know how to multiply these numbers much more quickly? I will show you in this video. So, before we get started, there's something special about these numbers. And the thing that's special about these numbers is that, if you notice all of these numbers, the units place, so the summation of the units place always adds up to 10. So in the first one, 8 plus 2 adds up to 10. 6 and 4 add up to 10. And so do 9 and 1. 9 and 1 also add up to 10. Okay, so that's one thing that's special about them. The second thing that's special about them is that they all have the same units uh, val tens value. So on the first one, they have a tens value of 1. On the second one, they have a tens value of 5. And on the third one, they have a tens value of 2. So now let's get started with 12 times 18. So 12 times 18, first we're going to times the tens place by its next highest number. So the tens place is 1 in this case, so we're going to times it by its next highest number, which is 2. So we're going to do 1 times 2, which is going to be 2. We're going to write the 2 here. Then we're going to times the units places, so the 2 and the 8. So 8 times 2 will be 16. So you're going to write the 16 there. So the answer will be 216. So now let's go on to the next one, 54 times 56. So with this one, again, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to times the tens place. So in this case, it's 5 by its next highest number, which will be 6. So 5 times 6 will be 30. Then we're going to times 6 and 4. 6 times 4 is 24. So we're going to write that 24 there. So the answer is 3024. Okay, so now let's go on to the next one, which is 21 times 29. 21 times 29, we can, we're going to do the same thing again. So we're going to times the tens place, which is 2 in this case, by its next highest number. So which is 3. 2 times 3 will be 6. Then we're going to do the units place. 1 times 9, which is going to be 9. But before we write just 9, we have to represent each number as a two-digit two number, so we're going to write as 0, 9. Because if you just write it as 9, the answer will be 69. And as you guys can see, 21 times 29 is definitely not 69. Okay, so now let's go on to the next one. Let's go with 83 times 87 first. Okay, so 83 times 87... We're going to do the same thing. So times the units place, tens place. I meant I meant tens place, so it is eight in this case by its next highest number. So eight times nine is going to be seventy-two. Then we're going to times the units place, which is going to be three and seven. So seven times three is twenty-one. So you're going to write that twenty-one there. So the answer is seven thousand two hundred and twenty-one. Okay, so now let's go on to the next one. Let's go on to three digits ones. But before we go on to the three digits ones, guys, I'm in, I'm pretty sure you guys are enjoying this video, and I'm pretty sure you guys are learning a lot from this video. So, and if you are, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any new uploads. Now let's get started with the three digit questions now. Okay, so with the three digit questions, again, we're going to do the same thing. So this time, we're going to do it like this. Instead of just, um, we're going to do the first two hundreds and the tens digits now. So the hundreds and the tens digits is 10. Okay, so we're going to times 10 by its next highest number, which will be 11 in this case. So 10 times 11 is going to be 110. So we can write that 110 there. Then we're going to do, 7 times 3, so 7 times 3 is going to be 21, so we're going to write that 21 there. Okay, so I'll explain this question to you guys once again, because it's a 3-digit one. So first, we just, um, instead of taking just the tens value, we took the hundreds and the tens value this time, and the hundreds and the tens value is 10, so we times that by its next highest number, which is 11, so we did 10 times 11, which, which gave us 110. Then we did 7 times 3, 
which gave us 21. So we wrote that 21 here. So the answer was 11021. One, one. So that was the answer. Next one. So this time we're going to try to do this more quickly. So again, we're going to choose the hundreds and the tens value, which is 15 in this case. We're going to times it by its next highest number, which is 16. So 15 times 16 will be 240. Then we're going to do 4 times 6, which is going to be 24. Put that 24 there. So the answer is 24024. Okay, so now let's go on to the final one. So last but not least, the final one is 192 times 198. Okay, so with this one, we're going to do the same thing. And by the way, this question is much more easier, guys, than you think. So 19, we're going to times it by its next highest number, which is 20 in this case. 19 times 20, which is going to be 380. Then we're going to do 8 times 2, which is going to be 16. So we're going to write that 16 there. So the answer is 38016. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did find this useful and if you learned a lot from this video, again, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any new uploads. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.